Championship match of the evening, Lawrence. This will be a six-person elimination match for the UKW Academy Championship on the line. So, let me just try and get my head around the rules. All six people start. Correct. Eliminated by pinfall or submission. Correct. The last person remaining, remaining yep. is going to be either Tom Steele, remaining champion, or crown a brand new champion. It, it, could, be, it could be this guy right here. Jet Marshall. What's he after? I don't know. He's quite well. He has quite sure. Jet Marshall thinks he's uh, bothering us here at the announce table. Jet Marshall never won to uh, shy away from the controversy here at UKW. A man who has been in hot water with UKW management on more than one occasion. A young man who doesn't do really seem to care what the system thinks of him. Yeah, and people might be sort of curious as to why he's in this match. I can only put it down to the fact that he holds a win over Leon Slater, the former UK Wrestling Academy champion, so it would make sense that he gets this opportunity here to actually become champion. Please welcome next into the room, who is a former UK Wrestling Academy champion. I mean, he's, he's 
bamboozled at the addition of this, this ramp where we've had. You, you walk down it. it. You go down it. Down, down. down it. Does, does that count as the first slip? That was interesting. That was, that was Confused these super fun happy flies. I mean, just every time Confused Steve comes out, just the the, uh, the blind look in his eyes, it really beguiles the amount of talent that this young man has. He's very, very talented to watch in the ring. I'm just amazed that he knows A, how to get to the building, B, how to get changed to his gear, and C, how to get to the ring. His oh. music's gone off. So, somebody's getting me gone. Got technical problems here for Confused Steve. I believe, I, mean, I believe we've got some sort of... Uh, is it a technical difficulty I mean, or are we just waiting for the next entry? I have no idea. We've got the, uh, the ring announcer struggling with a microphone here as well. We're out of power. We are. Somebody pay the meter, man. We're alive, pal. <laughs> Um, we, we see a headless Sedge Mania running around. <laughs> now, I mentioned, I'm, I'm not quite sure if we're going to have music for the uh, the entry, the last two entrants or not here. The, uh, well, we don't know who's next, but we know the, the remaining two. Of course, one is the champion, Tom Seal. The other one, is... Of course, well, I mentioned this, this is a six-person six elimination match. This is going to be in the gender. Leone Rose here, mate, as we see her entry towards the ring, is breaking down barriers here in UKW. She is the first female to enter this contest. Uh, again, you might have to correct me on this. Yeah, it, if she wins this contest, will Leone Rose be the first female to ever hold the Academy Championship? It's a technicality on It Depends. UK Wrestling used to have their own Women's Academy, Academy of course. So it, it depends if Leone wins and, and brings that back, then no. If she uh, if she stays, the, the, the same championship that, that Tom carries, I believe so. I believe she will be the first, but I believe there is a very strong chance for Leone, Ro excuse me, Leone Rose to make history here. And uh, we're going to apparently put the technical difficulties to one side, and we are going to introduce the champion. If Tom Steele was in a bad mood because of the odds of the match, he's going to be even more in a, a worse mood now. Oh, oh, hang on, I can hear rustling. Oh, 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 oh got a bit of rustling. Welcome to WK Wrestling, the champion, Tom Steele! Yeah, it's kind of getting the staff Can I get the staff these days to uh, fix those electric cables? Well, it appears that Leone Rose is the only one that's not going to get that's business probably is probably going to upset her. I would imagine so. Back to business as normal. The final move in this match is the man defending the gold. It's his championship on the line. Tom Steele puts the academy title on the line in this uh, six-way challenge. And here comes the champion. A daunting task for Tom Steele in this match. It's, it's, it's a strange for me to say this, but... The longer that Tom has had that title belt, he, he when he first won it, he sort of just looked like an average Joe wrestler. He went out, he got the wardrobe, he started carrying himself like a champion. Some people say that the championship makes the man, some people say the man makes the champion. But to me, Tom Steele, you can call his, his actions questionable all you want, but he's definitely trying to bring prestige back to that title. It'll be interesting to see how he carries himself here tonight. It's not only going to be the wrestlers that are going to have a lot to contend with, it's not only us that we're going to have a lot to contend with, keeping up with all this. The referee has got a, uh, a tall task ahead of him. I'm not to be too critical, but we've, we've seen this referee miss a few calls so far tonight. We've seen a couple of calls. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, this is a um, six pack challenge in the national match, and it is for the UK Wrestling Academy Championship belt. A person is only eliminated if they are, have a pinfall or submission. The last person standing will be the new UK Wrestling Academy Champion. Or, or will still be. The Academy Champion, and I, I assume that after that clarification of the rules, that we're also meaning no disqualification and no count outs in this match. I, you would have to assume so with, with that many bodies in there. Are the referees going to be able to see 
everything that goes on is probably made easier than rules for the referees. So. Absolutely so, and like I, like I said earlier, the, the referee a couple of times throughout the, the night so far has, has been out of position for a couple of little things. Uh, we see Jim Marshall going to the floor immediately. Tom Steele joins him courtesy of Confused Steele, and we had six, and we are now down to four. We have Leonie Rose, we have Confused Steele, we have LRB, and we have Edward Crowley, Esquire. I mean, Marshall is... I want to say Marshall's using his brains by staying on the outside. Uh, but it looks like Tom Steele's actually looking to make a... Oh, well, I was trying to make an alliance there. But Pier 6 brawl has, has broken out very, very early here. And I think this we had the Revolutionary Rumble last month. This is going to resemble it in some regards, I'd imagine. This shoulder tackle from Confused Steele turns Tom Steele inside out. Steele with the drop down. This one's going to be fast and furious. Hard drive by Steele. I was just going to say, I'm liking Marshall's um, strategy of staying on the outside. But you can see the early rows come round his blind side. There's a lot of action going on here. So much so the referee is actually missing pinfall attempts in the middle of the ring between Confused Steel and Tom Steele. Meanwhile, Crowley and LRB fighting out here. Leone Rose is uh, handing it to Jet Marshall down on the floor. Steele and Confused Steel trading shots. Double goozle by Crowley. Went for double chokes on it, looks like. Gets thwarted by Steele. And now LRB joining in. Makes sense making this decision here because... Edward Crowley is the largest of, of all the competitors in the ring by, by quite a considerable height. Well, you saw there all five competitors trying to take it to Crowley. Crowley just able to power his way out of all those shots. I wasn't aware that Crowley was that strong, but now we see him. Beal talks. Crowley beeling Marshall from one side of the ring to the other. Big boot catches confused in the face. STO takes down Steele. Takes LRB's head off with a clothesline. Now this Leone, is oh, Leone Rose gets caught in the throat with that double throat shot. And, and former, former sort of partner, shall we say, both of those two in Persian Empire. Crowley is holding, sort of, uh, taking your prisoners, that was the phrase I was looking for. Single leg takedown by LRB, looking to lock on some sort of submission hold, it looks like. Crowley looking is able to fight him off. Marshall, no regard for gender or anything, just booting Leone Rose side of the face. I mean, there's one word to describe this match so far, and it's, it's messy. There's a lot of stuff going on here. LRB, charging, big clothesline, and a bulldog takes Crowley down. We're going to try and call as much of this as we possibly can do. Cover, the, the referee spotted that. Yeah, Crowley with a, uh, an optically strong kick out. Jet Marshall with a big Marshall doesn't care. Marshall just wants to kick heads off. A lot of Marshall's offense has looked very much on point so far. However, he's taken his eye off the ball. Confused Steve behind him. Boots to the midsection. Shoots Marshall off the ropes. Marshall with a reversal. Steve with a uh, ducks underneath. Ducks underneath a second attempt. Leaping side headlock takeover by Edward by Confused Steve. Excuse me, rather unusual offense. Standing side kick. Marshall not seen there. Uh, not too sure where he is. He takes on the rope, diving back elbow to the back of the net, not something I've ever seen before. Nicely done by Steve. Pinfall attempt on Marshall, Marshall out at two. The only rose down is Lunder, boots him in the face, avoids the pump kick, boots the midsection of Steele, ducks the high kick, shoved off the ropes. Steele made a look for no Connor roll. Rose holds on, bypass to avoid. Steele finds himself on the apron. So much going on so far. Nearly a clash of heads there. Absolutely. Bicycle kick catches Rose on the side of the head. Steele now, the defending champion, of course, going to the top rope. We are yet to have any elimination so far. Steele is on the top rope, though. Goes for a diving foot stop. Rose moves out of the way. Up and down, spine muscle slam by Leone Rose. Leone Rose doesn't care. She's uh, she's taking on all challenges here, but oh, just a slap to the face of LRB. There. Well, she started with an uppercut that didn't phase LRB. Oh, ace crusher now with an ace crusher by LRB. Confused Steve. Nailing LRB from behind didn't that seem to have a huge amount of effect there. LRB is seemingly invincible so far. I mean, these two have had a budding friendship, shall we say, in the back. I've seen them sort of hanging out and talking. I see him. Oh, 
Well, they shook hands and they started trading blows. Trail Gunnybrook here. And Edward Crowley, sinister, sinisterly watching, grabs both men from behind. Meeting of the mind between Steve and LRB. It would be interesting to see if that's actually done anything to Steve, seeming though he hasn't really got any it sort of brain. Clear some of the cobwebs up. You never know. We are still awaiting our first elimination here. Crowley has goozled LRB around the throat. Went for another choke from LRB. Ace Crusher! Catching him with another Ace Crusher. Pinfall, Pinfall in the middle of the referee, ring. No the referee problem. caught wandering. And Crowley is eliminated. Drive by Dropkick by oh, Jet Marshall. Just... Covers LRB. And that's another elimination. LRB has been eliminated. We are very, very quickly down from six to four. You saw the curve stop there by Marshall. And now another kicker. Marshall's slowly becoming my favourite wrestler, sorry. Jeb Marshall is doing a very good job of, of hitting and running here, staying out the way when he needs to, coming and delivering offence when he can. Shoots Rose off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline as Rose. Super kick, glancing blow, didn't get all of that one. Takes Marshall down with a face buster. Hooks the leg, middle of the ring. Referee is down, and Jet Marshall has been eliminated. I take it back. I don't like Jet Marshall at all. He's useless. The, the uh, field has been sewn in half now. No trading kicks. All of them have been blocked. I would, I would argue that if we're having a kicking contest, Confused see does have a bit of kickboxing background in him. Head kick from Confused Steve. Leaping into Guru from Tom Steele. Head kick catches Confused Steve in the face. Tom Steele and Eleanor Rose up on the shoulders now. Maybe looking for a cartwheel death. No, death Valley driver takes Rose down. Rose finds herself now perched precariously against the ropes. Steele takes off the ropes, comes charging. B trigger knee catches Rose on the jaw. Oh, he needs, needs the eyes in the back of his head because Steve's waiting. Steele now looking for a power driver attempt. Steele is blocking it. Steele has confused Steele up. Maybe looking for that jig and tonic through the knees. Oh. Jig and tonic takes Confused Steve down. Cover. This way could be all for Confused Steve, and it is. Confused Steve has been eliminated. Just dropping Steve over the top of his head. Tom Steele and so Tom Steele's going to be pretty proud of himself here. He's just. Taking out Rose with that v but Rose is the Rose is from behind. Rose with the schoolboy on, on Steel. Steel is down. And he shoots got it. That, that was three. That was three. Tom Steele, admittedly so, did a very impressive job of making his way all the way to the end of the contest. However, he took his eye off the ball, and the only Rose has made history here tonight at Pride and Glory by becoming the first ever female to win the UKW Academy Champion. <laughs>
the microphone. Sorry to cut you off, Lawrence, but I mean, well, she did first, but Matthew Sykes appeared would have something to say. What you say? Sorry, I don't speak stupid. Right. For those of you who are done following me on Instagram, my name is Natalie Sykes. Oh my God. Look, on Instagram. Shut up, what are you talking? Or get into the ring, sorry. Well, we've made we've made a point of all night saying he's been out of position. <laughs> he's being out of position. This is the UK Wrestling Women's Championship. Doing the pleasantries. Second championship match of the night. We've already had one title change here tonight at Pride and Glory. Are we going to see a second? Are we finally going to see someone upseat the women's champion Brooklyn, the longest reigning champion in that division's history? I think, in all honesty, I think it's the, the longest reigning champion in UKW history. If my facts aren't, sorry, if my facts are correct, but it's one of those things that Brooklyn, we said, had a three month layoff effectively from defending that title. I could be a champion for two years if I don't have to defend it. Natalie Sykes getting a very, very different reaction to when she was last here in UKW. The last time we saw Natalie Sykes here, she was rather popular with the crowd. She's gone away, she's, uh, she's changed her act up, she's changed her outlook up, and she's come back with a much different attitude than what we've seen previously. So far, we've seen uh, this is now the third corner of the title. And the third time around, though, Brooklyn able to reverse. Firing off that kick to the leg of Sykes, standing rock good, glancing blow, catching Sykes on the collarbone, comes charging bait close on in the corner. Just as, as you pointed out, Natalie Sykes beat up and down the country, so not only is it changing attitude, but getting more and more experience. To my knowledge, Brooklyn hasn't been outside of UKW That's for probably point. better part of a year. Swinging 
neck breaker, takes Sykes down in the middle of the ring, rolling neck snap, capitalizes, keeps the momentum on the neck, once again another drop kick this time to the jaw. Brooklyn chains together, three or four maneuvers, lateral press, hooks the leg, Sykes out of two. Great point, Lawrence. Uh, Natalie Sykes has, has a lot of experience, not just as well, but not as wrestling females, but she's also wrestled a lot of men in her time in the job. Yeah, I mean, we, we can say that Brooklyn has, has sort of dabbled in that area. We saw her last month enter the Revolutionary Rumble. Didn't fare very well in that, in fairness to her. Um, Leonie Rose, in fact, eliminated her. So, realistically, the new, the new Academy champion holds victories over Brooklyn, Leonie Rose, uh, sorry, Brooklyn and Alfie Rose, the two more dominant female here at UKW. Sykes now resorting to using the second rope, choking Brooklyn across the second the pinfall. pinfall. She's not going to get a pinfall like that, though. I'm not with this referee. <laughs> Brooklyn has found herself, uh, finds herself in trouble here, Lawrence. The, uh, the championship reign could, uh, could be in jeopardy. Uh, nice leg kick there. I mean, if you're going to beat a champion, the way to do it, make sure she can't stand up. Brooklyn now clutching at that leg. Natalie Sykes dominating the middle of the ring. I've not got anything personally against Brooklyn, but it would be nice to see Natalie Sykes around these parts a bit more. It'd be good to see her as champion. Possible change. Possible changing of the guard here as uh, Sykes lights up the chest of Brooklyn with that knife edge shot. Snap there's always a vicious boot. I think it's actually caught in the ear there. Another pinfall. Rather lax cover from Sykes, though. Not going to get the job done like that. Oh, nice cover in terms of body on body, but you saw the fist in the face pushing Brooklyn's head into the canvas. Good point. Making sure she knows. Fisherman suplex takes her over. Once again, Brooklyn able to kick out at two. You see the almost a wry smile on the face of Sykes there, perhaps knowing that all right, it might have been two that time, but she's certainly got Brooklyn on the ropes here. It looks as though Sykes is becoming more and more confident in this match, knowing that the champion, as you just rightly pointed out, is reeling, now just clubbing away on the back. Brooklyn, trying to mount a comeback here, firing for a couple of shots. Natalie Sykes across the ropes, reversal up and over but by Brooklyn. Catches Natalie coming out of the corner of the schoolboy. Referee is down, only two. Just know that it's something that I just I like picking out the smaller details. Brooke is wearing um, like kick pads, which is new, I believe, to her to her attire. So I don't know if she's uh, she's been training on on throwing some kick to be a possible song. We saw right at the start of the match, she's firing off a kick to the leg of Sykes, but she's not really being able to get out the gates. So she's not. I mean, she has come into the match with a game plan like that. It's certainly not a game plan that she's been able to execute so far. That's been pretty much Sykes dominating this. Sykes has had a good 80% of this match and so far. Soul Food catches Brooklyn on the jaw, hooks the leg. Good cover by Sykes this time. Only two though, once again. Now you see Sykes is starting to get frustrated. A couple of minutes earlier, a little bit of a right smile across the face. Now Sykes is starting to get annoyed that she can't keep Brooklyn down. Is she, uh, she pointed at the referee, then blamed the referee for that scene uh, again out of position. He was a little bit slow to that count. In all fairness, the referee seemed to be pretty decent there, but double knees to the side of the head. Discus clothesline takes Sykes down. Not exactly the strongest of Larynx we've seen from Brooklyn, but it's only good for two. Sykes kicks out. All right, Sykes has turned to... Uh, Gonna dig deep, which she seems to be doing here. Finally, Sykes carry. I'm not sure what she's looking for. She's got Brooklyn across the shoulders. Brooklyn drops down. Rear naked choke by Brooklyn. Mounting the back of Sykes as well. Very intelligent maneuver here from Brooklyn. Not something that I've seen particularly often from her. No, looking at that, the, the arm is uh, under the chin as well. So you are right. It, it was a, she could have probably done with maybe switching her body weight a little bit there to try and fully crank that neck. Brooklyn gets the boot up, up to the second row. Catches a tornado, DDT out the corner. Spikes Sykes on the top of the head. Hooks the leg in the middle of the ring. And again, it's only good for two. Close call there. Definitely the closest call that Brooklyn has got so far. You see the look on Brooklyn's face. She almost looks distraught that she's not able to keep Sykes down. The uh, mouth up as well, breathing heavily through her mouth. 
So that she's expending a lot of energy in this match. The midsection ace crusher from Sykes takes the champion down. Got a new champion. Good cover from Sykes and again only two. Both women pushing each other very, very close to the limit here. Sykes, catch the boom, gets met to your point earlier on, Lawrence, with that kick to the face. She's got Sykes on the shoulders. TKO takes her down. Fireman's carry into the stunner, middle of the ring, hooks the leg and gets the three. You have to say there though, Lawrence, despite the victory from Brooklyn, Brooklyn is still your women's champion, but a tremendous effort from Natalie Sykes there. She pushed the champion to the absolute limit there. Yeah, obviously. Brooklyn issued the open challenge, so she never actually knew who she'd be facing until this very evening. Uh, but, to your point, great show from Natalie Tyson. As I said, I hope she sticks around a bit longer here at UKW. Well, she might have suffered a loss in that match. You see, she's dropping backstage. She might well have suffered a loss there. But, I mean, you have to think that she entered such a uh, commendable performance that she may well still remain near the top of the rankings for that championship goal. Well, hang on, this is interesting. We saw a, a, a bit of a face-off there between Brooklyn and the new Academy champion, Leone Rose, I believe. Yeah, and obviously Leone Rose, as we pointed out earlier, does hold that, that victory, sort of victory. She eliminated it from a group of... She, she holds that victory over Brooklyn, so maybe that's um, Leone Rose signaling her intention that she's coming after that championship as well. Very well, possibly be a match that we see in the future.